Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerle and I have three different ways that you can make money online. Now, before we get started, I want to let you know that I keep it to three because I know your time is valuable and I don't want to make these hour long videos showing you all the hundreds of different ways that you can make money online and then you'll get overwhelmed. So what I decided to do was make a playlist so you can see the link below and the playlist says online jobs make money from home that link will take you to my playlist where I will continue to keep putting videos in there and each video will have three different ways you can make money online from home now a lot of times my titles might say for homeschool moms or stay-at-home moms I just um, target groups like that because I know in my own life those were the times in my life that i was always looking for ways to make money so that i could contribute to the family yet i still wanted to stay home with my children and when i was able to i was doing things like maybe babysitting or maybe just doing crafts where i would go out and do you know different shows and earn money that way and those are great ways if you're making money like that and you're happy then continue but we live in a world now where we can make money on the internet and we the, the beauty of that is you can earn the money and do the work on a schedule that works for you so when you're trying to stay home with your family raise the kids you know do all the the jobs that you do to keep your household running um run kids to different events uh, help them with their schoolwork if you're not homeschooling you know you're going to be doing after school homework if you're homeschooling then you're trying to put that into your schedule as well and it can be done it sounds like a lot but if you're organized and you learn how to focus on those things that are most important and then stay focused on it when you're doing it then it can work and that's really the secret when you're working work and when you're spending time with the kids spend that time with the kids and don't let them overlap but they can be integrated as part of your life if that makes sense so i'm just trying to find different avenues of income to help people moms or others find a way to make money from home and the biggest thing like i said is the flexibility you can be flexible and make sure you get get everything in on your time not clocking in and somebody else telling you you know you have to be there eight to five there is nothing i can remember being in my early 20s and going to a job clocking in and then maybe they didn't have enough work for me to do and i had to sit there and put the time in and that to me is, is was so aggravating and i think that's what led me to always think outside the box and different ways to make money because i hate to have wasted unproductive time and i don't like somebody else telling me i have to be there now that's that's my draw to doing my work online and the second thing is you can work really really hard at a job for somebody else and your pay is not going to change and the person sitting next to you can be slacking off and doing half the work and they get the same pay that was something else that aggravated me working from those traditional jobs so now i get to work hard i get to be productive i get to decide how much money that i'm going to make and when i do it and that for me is the beauty of working from home online we are living in an age where all these jobs can be done online now before i give you these three ways also know that you're just not going to pop in and say oh this is what i do and everybody know how to find you i'm going to give you some tools and uh, different ways that you can get your name out there so that other people can find you and hire you okay one of them is there's a 30-day training training below hit that link and in that training for 30 days don't sign up unless you have 30 days that you know you will be committed to doing the training because it's just again a waste of your time if you're not serious but in that training you will learn how to make a storefront for your business now you might say well isn't that for sales no um, when you start a business in as a chiropractor you need to have a storefront so people know where to find you and online is the way to do it now it's not by brick and mortar anymore like it used to be it's online so that training teaches you how to set up your um, storefront your face per se a place that people can click and say oh I I see this is what she does or he does and that's all in the training below so one of the things I want to talk about I found this and I thought wow most people don't even think about it I don't have a screen for it so I apologize you get to look at me again for a minute but what about being a translator yay for the pause button right <laughs> phone starts ringing hit the pause okay what about being a translator 
first of all, you have to be fluent in two different languages. But we live in a world now, especially here in America, where we have lots of people immigrating into our country and English isn't the only language being spoken. So we find there's a lot of in, in, in situations where people need a translator. You have people starting businesses that might fly to other countries. I know my son just had to go to Spain um, for his job and he works out of Texas. And you go to these other countries and a lot of times you need a translator to help you if you're going to China or Japan and you don't speak their language. Yes, many people in other countries speak English, but not all the time. So tra translators are very, very high in demand. Now you might say, well, how do I do that online? Sometimes they may have meetings online where from two different countries and they need somebody on there to be the translator. You've got to think outside the box. Now you may say, hey, I want to be a translator and I want to travel. That's great. Um, great way to start your own, your own business. But if you want to work from home, you've got to think, how can I get that job onto the internet so that when I'm on the go, I can take this laptop with me and do my job from there and do it from anywhere. And that's the thinking you have to have. But they are very high in demand. They make a medium income of like $46,000. What kind of industries? You want to look at professional industries, technical industries. Remember, a lot of these people that work for these industries travel. And look at the state, local, and private educational systems as well. Um, a lot of times they need translators. Now, you can go to Upwork. Um, I showed this in another video where you can go promote yourself. So I'm going to pull it up again. But in Upwork.com, you can go in there and say, hey, I am a translator and people will find you. You can go to places like LinkedIn and put up a professional profile and then also go to the training below and find out how you can make your storefront and promote yourself. So you do need that storefront. You do need the training below. You have to have a place. It's not a website. You can have a website, but this is a little bit easier to do than having a website. It's just a, a one-stop shop place. Okay. So translator is one of them. Sometimes you have to have a bachelor's degree before they hire you. But I think with the way the world's going right now, I don't think most places do that anymore. They look at your talents and your abilities. So if you speak two languages fluently, I think that's something you might want to look into. Now, the next one, I think this one is really good for stay-at-home moms, homeschool moms, because basically you have a lot of flexibility with this. But what about becoming a virtual assistant? Now, what does a virtual assistant do? They um, provide accounting services for people, customer service, answering telephone calls, things like that, maybe answering emails and just being that front person for the other person and they do data entry, design, editing, they do IT work, legal work, sales, teaching, human resources. Those are just a few services that a virtual assistant provides. Think about it. All these people online, they, they're becoming big and they're into affiliate marketing or digital marketing or whatever they're doing. It gets to the point that they have to start outsourcing part of their work. Um, you, the bigger you get, the bigger you are as an influencer, people look you up, they start emailing you. Maybe they're, um, these people are all over social media. They are not running all those social media accounts. Somebody else is doing it for them, but a virtual assistant can do things like that. So think outside the box. One of the things you could do is go to Upwork because a lot of virtual assistants go on there and they say, Hey, these are some things that I can do. So let's just go through. I went to upwork.com and I just put in there, it said, what are you looking for? And I said, I'm looking for a virtual assistant. And this is what popped up. They're all different. This person, Crystal, she charges $20,000 or $20. Wow, that'd be a lot per hour. $20 an hour. And she says, I can take things off your plate. Now, she, if you go in, she'll give you some more. Um, she works with PowerPoint, Excel, Word. So she does a lot of techie things. Um, this person, Bree, is $18 an hour. And they're a writer, photographer, and photo editor. But think about it. These are things people need done. Um, this one, Brooke, she... Uh, opera singer and student. I have developed skills to promote myself and maintain a professional image. Hmm. So opera singer. I'm not sure why we would hire an opera singer, but there you go. Um, and you can see here too how much money they've already earned. And that tells you you're not going to make $70,000 on Upwork unless your work is good. Um, people, after they hire you, they can go in and give a testimonial 
for you and let Upwork know how the services were. If Upwork keeps getting negative service uh, comments about you, you'll get fired and you'll be off the platform. So you only get away with it for a few times. So this person said, I can, I can post to social media for you and schedule all your posts and help it to grow. So here's data entry again. So go in there and think, what, what do I do that I could, what is a skill that I have that I could provide for other people? Now, with this, another job would be that you could become a website developer. I would suggest, or if you already are pretty good at developing a website, there are some training programs out there that cater specifically to people who want to be website developers. I would suggest going in there and taking some extra training and make sure you know as much as you can and then start promoting yourself as a website de developer. There are a lot of people who maybe they know how to develop the website, but they don't have time. See, a lot of these skills, people are hiring you because they don't have time to do it themselves. They're getting so big. And instead of having an office building with all these people in there doing those jobs, they're going out and hiring agencies for hiring individual people. Now, you might wanna start out as an individual person, but remember something that can happen, you might get so good at what you're doing that you have to start an agency where you start hiring other people to help you with your services and then you get to make a commission off of them. So this can get really big depending on what you're looking for. And that's where you start to level up in your business or just do your business where you're one person and you're happy making that fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a year and you don't need to make hundreds of thousands, but it is possible. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. So again, click the link below for the playlist. There's three different jobs on each video and then go ahead and sign up for the 30 day training so that you can start making the storefront of your business and learn how to do that so that you can get your name out there. Hopefully this was helpful. Give me a thumbs up. And again, lots more coming in that playlist.